Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How, how are you today? Fine, thanks. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here with all of you. Very happy to see you once again to all the ones that I have worked with before. And for sure, very happy to uh, in, to start another new level with all of you. So it has been a very long vacation. What have you been doing? ¿Qué han estado haciendo en toda esta vacación? Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am doing great, very happy to be with you, very happy to see you again. It, you, ha it has been a long time. Hello, Tatiana, good evening. It's a short time, teacher. Yeah, it has been like, like what, like three weeks without seeing you? Almost three weeks. Almost three long. weeks. No, it has been like almost three, almost three weeks. Yeah, but it has been a very long, long, long time without seeing I, you. I forget everything, teacher. <laughs> you forgot all the English that you have acquired. Come on. <laughs> I couldn't practice. Really? Why? Because you were in Sibarland in the, in the amusement park. <laughs> I went to Mexico. Really? The last week. Hey, how nice. Yes, just a couple of days. Well, but well, it is it is very nice that you had the opportunity maybe, to go. Maybe six days. Six days. Well, but it's a very nice. <laughs> it was for work or for pleasure. For pleasure. For pleasure. That's it's, pretty nice part of my vacation. Hey, that's very nice. Well, it's pretty awesome that you had the opportunity to go. Mr. Mario Villa, I cannot see your camera either. Juan Carlos, I cannot see your camera also. Thank you, Mario. And Mr. Juan Carlos, I cannot see your camera as well. Well, Mr. Mario, nice to meet you. I think it's my first time working with you. Yes, it's correct. Nice to meet you too. Okay, my name is Natalie de Flores. I am your your teacher during this module. Okay. And it is a pleasure to have you here. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, my dear class, welcome to Intermediate 5. I was I was swearing that uh, it was it was going to be just four intermediate, but now there are four, there are five intermediate uh, levels, but it is great that you have the chance to be here with you and uh, for sure to work a lot, okay? During this module, we are going to work a lot with uh, the same uh, vocabulary, the same topics related to business and sales, right? For sure. And we're also going to be working a lot with new grammar, new vocabulary, and I am going to, to share, like to start the class, I'm going to share the, um, the video about all the different things that InSupport is doing. So I would love you to pay attention to it. That's the way we need to start each of the modules. So let's watch the video. El INSAFORP ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. 
nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insafor, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Okay, this was our introduction for the day. And I am really glad to have you to have all of you here working a lot, developing different abilities for your life, and for sure learning every single day a little bit more. Well, so welcome to 
all the ones who were not connected before. And we are going to start working with our class for the day. Today is the beginning of your uh, module. We are going to be working from today up to October 10. Okay, we're going to work from today up to October 10. And we are going to be developing this whole module for all this time that I am uh, announcing. So today is the beginning of this new journey. I am very glad to be your teacher and many of you know me before, right? But I am going to introduce myself a little bit on this class, okay? Let me share my screen with all of you. Well, so this is our first day together. I am very glad to be here and to be your teacher. For all the ones who didn't know me before, my name is Evelyn Natalie Monterrosa. I am a uh, licenciada en idioma inglés, opción enseñanza. I have uh, like um, quite a time of being a teacher. Right? I have been in this journey for 19 years and I really enjoy every single day that I have for teaching, right? Uh, I have different studies, right? Tengo una licenciatura en idiomas, diplomados en metodologías, liderazgo, cursos en didáctica, planificación. Eh, todos somos English experts cada vez que seguimos practicando, right? Eh, en mi experiencia, well, I have worked in different universities, in different academies, right? I started working at Universidad Católica de Occidente in Santa Ana, right? Then I helped founding the Instituto Americano de Idiomas with my colleagues in Santa Ana. I also work as an interpreter in Fundación CFCA. I worked for 10 years in Programa Empresarial Superate. I work right now in Regal International, that it's Inglés Corporativo, right? I have more than a year working with this type of classes. And I am the principal of English Learning Center in San Salvador. So I, I am a, a little bit busy. I also have a scholarship this year. I have a Fulbright scholarship for teaching and excellence. Uh, so I, I have all this experience to put it on your service. So this is me, right? This is the teacher that you have here. I am here to serve you in every single thing that I need. Okay, este es el bueno, profesional que les ponemos a su servicio. Y obviamente soy eh, facilitadora certificada de INSAFOR en los tres niveles de enseñanza, básico, intermedio y avanzado. Así que estoy a su servicio. And for sure, remember that we have a lot of activities to cover here in, uh, in the journey that we're going to be working. We have a lot of activities, right? And we have to cover at least 80% of the percentage of the class, right? Tenemos que tener al menos un 80% completado para poder pasar de nivel, okay? Eso incluye tareas, asistencia, evaluaciones, etc. right? We have to do the activities in the platform, that it's the most important part. Every single class, you can go to the platform and work, right? We have all the assignments there. We have divided in two parts, right? Lo hemos dividido en dos partes. El midterm, que yo lo he calendarizado más o menos para el 19 de septiembre, que es como la mitad de la plataforma que tenemos que haber cubierto para ese tiempo. Y para el jueves 6 de octubre, tenemos que haber finalizado todo lo de la plataforma para que ustedes el 10 de octubre estén, mire, libres. Ya así como que, I finished everything, I did my homework, here it is, teacher. Aquí está todo, teacher, ready. No el, no el 9 de octubre en la medianoche. No, eso no es del señor. El 9 de octubre en la medianoche usted tiene que estar dormidito. No tiene que estar preocupándose por tareas ni nada. ¡Eh! Para mañana es la plataforma. No, no, no. You have to work on it before, right? Before time. And remember, you have the manual to work in the platform, right? We are going to check the platform in a moment. And you have it there. You have the material there. Eh, who downloaded the manual already? ¿Quién ya descargó el manual de la plataforma? I did, teacher. Okay, Tatiana. Who else? No one else, huh? <laughs> Los agarré sin cuadernos a todos. Where is your notebook, people? Let me see your notebook. Vamos a ver el cuaderno en el que van a anotar las clases. ¿A dónde está? Where is the notebook? 
Ah, very good, Norma, Nelson, Jorge, very good. Tatiana, your notebook? I use the notepad, teacher. <laughs> okay. I always do that, but okay. I always write. That's, that's okay. Diana, hello. I cannot see your camera, but I know you have your notebook. Mr. Mario, you need a notebook for this class. Miss Wendy too, and Carlos too. I am a little bit like, in this case, I, I keep being a little bit old fashioned because you always need to write things. You need to practice because, because if you don't practice, you forget. It is like, yeah, the teacher told me about it. Yeah, the teacher mentioned it but I don't remember because I didn't write, okay? So that's very important. Mr. Manuel looking elegant for the first day of classes, you see? Tres semanas no lo veo y mire, ya viene hasta trajeado. Excellent. <laughs> okay, welcome, Mr. Manuel. So Mr. Mario, Mr. Juan Carlos, Miss Wendy, get uh, something there for you to write because you're going to use it. And for sure, uh, here, I always remember that you need to have your complete name exactly as it is on your DUI, right? You need to have your complete name on, a, on a Zoom. So please, if you cannot change it, you can go there in participantes. Next to your name, there are three points. You change it there, cambiar nombre, right? So uh, your complete name. If you are just a listener that I don't have in this class, eh, the camera should be on during the whole session, okay? Eh, la cámara se tiene que estar encendida durante toda la sesión. ¿Por qué? Yo siempre les digo el por qué este requerimiento. Primero, porque para saber que está presente, vea. Está presente y está tomando la clase. Segundo, para saber que estamos en la clase. Porque de repente si apagamos la cámara y así como, ¡Ay! me acordé que tenía que ir a recoger la basura. And you can go, ¡Ay! No es cenado, me va a freer un huevo. And you just leave, right? No, the camera is for me to know that you are there, okay? Para saber que ustedes están presentes y ustedes están activos en la clase. ¿Puede estar cenando en la cámara? Sí. ¿Puede estar ahí haciendo otra cosa mientras me está escuchando? Yes, but focus on the class. That's the most important thing, okay? Que me dice, ay, teacher, es que ando despeinada. It's okay. Right? We are not criticizing anybody. Aquí todos nos queremos así. Peinados, despeinados, mechuditos. It's okay. We love each other like that. But the idea is that you have to be with the camera on. And that's important. The next one, for sure, if you are not using the microphone, turn it off. Mr. Jorge, do you have a question? Who don't love the manual? Uh -huh. Ah, you downloaded it already. <laughs> That's good. Very good. I am going to show you where the manual is in a, in a second. And remember to participate all the time. Very good. The attendance. The attendance is a hashtag obligatory, right? You have to attend every single class because imagine that you finish the platform, that you finish the homework, that you finish everything, but you don't have the complete attendance. So that is going to be a problem at the moment of signing up for the next module. So please, I need you to attend all your classes. I cannot give you permission to miss a class, okay? Yo no les puedo dar permiso de faltar a una clase. Pero eh, if it is something that it's really and extremely important and it's out of your hands, you can uh, talk to the people in charge of uh, English Corporativo and you can externalize your problem, right? But the idea is that you are in class every single day. The 120 minutes of the class, for sure, you have to be connected. I will take attendance in two times as always, 8.20 and 9.40. Thanks to Manuel that it's always reminding me about the attendance and for sure he's going to be doing it in this module as well. And you have to say, presente, present teacher, here teacher, here I am, right? And for sure, every single time we have one-on-one -on -one sessions at the end of the class, the sessions go in the order of the list, okay? Siempre las sesiones uno a uno van en el orden de la lista y son 10 minutos que dedicamos al final de la clase para eh, abordar diferentes temas, abordar diferentes problemas específicos o simplemente pues para buscar un poco de ayuda o apoyo en cuestiones del idioma. Ok, so I am going to keep here. Okay. Remember, 
that in Zoom, you have to keep your microphone silence. The uh, camera should be on all the time. We are going to use the chat in Zoom and we're going to use the breaker rooms. And for sure, if you need help, you can just raise your hand and um, I am going to attend your need, okay? Raise your hand on camera or raise your hand on the platform and I will attend anything that you need to do. Please respect each other. That is the most important part of being in the class, okay? It is very important to set the rules so we can all be clear about the things that we are going to do. Okay, in the case of uh, Mario, have you studied English before? Yes, I was studying English before. Okay, Mr. Juan Carlos, have you studied English before? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, Miss Wendy Maribel, have you studied English before? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So I know. For all the rest of the students, Silvia was studying here, Nelson too, Dianita, Jorge. Uh, let's see. I have here Maria Elena, Juan de Dios, Olga, right? That I am sure that they have been studying before because I had the pleasure to be their teacher. And here I am going to show you the platform. And we are going to take attendance as well, okay? I am going to show you a little bit on the platform for all the ones who were not here before. And the manual that we're going to be working on that should be already downloaded. Okay, this is the platform that we use in every single class, right? After the class, you can come and do homework. You can find the manual in this side right here. Right? Here you can find the manual, right? The student's manual, and you just download it. Okay. You just click here and you download it. As you can see here, every single uh, little pencil that you have here are activities that you have for every single unit, right? So it is important that you go over them, that you answer them, and that you complete them. If you have any type of question, remember that you can consult in the WhatsApp group. Right, most of them are just like multiple choice for you to complete them, right? And as you can see here, we have four different sections and the midterm and the final are in section number two. You have unit two and the midterm and in section four, you have unit four and the final exams, okay? All these should be completed every single week. So, without further ado, my dear class, any question about the platform for the new students? Questions? No? Not teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. So, if in any case, Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me see. Here I go. Okay, I am going to call the attendance students. Remember, if you listen to your name, say here or present. I am going to call the attendance right now. Okay, my internet was kind of a little bit unstable. Maybe it's because of the rain. It's raining. Yes, it's because of that. Well, but I have been talking and talking and talking a lot. It is the moment for you to talk because I want to listen to you. I want to listen to you talking as well. Well, meanwhile, it loads. I am going to share it out again. I am going to share something else. Mientras me carga la asistencia, vamos. A otras cosas, okay? So for sure, we are going to start with the welcome and the introductions here. We are going to start with the welcome and the introductions. And I would like all of you to introduce yourself a little bit. Let's see here. 
Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So we're going to go here. And the first thing that we're going to go. Welcome back to the class. This is me. Say, this is me. And I need you right now to prepare a little paragraph on your notebook. I need you to prepare a little paragraph on your notebook. And I need you to write down the most important things about you because there are many people here in the class that it is the first time getting to know you. So write a little paragraph here for you to tell me, for you to tell me who you are and what are the most important things that we need to know about you, okay? As I told you before, I gave you my name, where I work, what I do, and everything that it's related to me. But what about you? I need you to write a little paragraph, three or four lines about you, right? And the most important things that we need to know about you, okay? So let's do that right now. We are going to, I am going to give you a couple of minutes, two or three minutes for you to write down the most important things that we need to know about you. Write it down in your notebook, write it down in your cell phone, on your notepad, write, write it down. What is the most important thing that people need to know about you? Okay, go ahead. I need you to write it down. The most important highlights about your life. Write them down and when you have them ready, you can raise your hand because we are going to participate in order. Write it down, write it down. Okay, raise your hand to let me know that you finish, okay? Thank you, Maria Elena. Maria Elena is ready. Let's see. Let's wait. Mario is ready. Good. Very good. Who else? Okay. I have two, two, two that are done already. Okay. Thank you very much, Wendy. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, who else finished? Thank you, Jorge.
Okay. So what we are going to do right now, I am going to give you a couple of minutes for you to share with your little groups. I am going to send you to working groups. You're going to introduce yourselves with the group and then we're going to come back. And you are going to tell me the most important things about the people that you listened, okay? You have to pay attention to the people that are going to share in the group because I am not going to tell you to talk about you. You are going to talk about the members of your group, okay? So pay attention. We have to listen carefully and we have to remember the information. I am going to send you to working groups and I need you to listen to the information from the different people. And when we come back, I am going to tell you to report a little bit of the information that they gave you, okay? So you are going to receive an invitation. I need you to click on it and you're going to go to the rooms. Okay, did you get my invitation, Olga? Okay, thank you. Juan de Dios, did you get my invitation? Thank you, Mr. Juan de Dios, did you get my invitation? Hello, Juan de Dios. Did you get my invitation to go to the rooms? Tú. Hola, Juan. Recibió mi invitación para el grupo, Juan. Okay, remember that you need to share about you and the most important things. A man or woman? I have a one girl and one boy. Okay. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, we're we're talking about kids here. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> one little boy. 
One little boy. Yeah, I, I have, have two. I have one. Oh, two. And Claudia Maria, how many do you have? Two. Two. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I think I need another one. <laughs> no. <laughs> not, no. Not right now. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I, I think I am just going to get one. It, <laughs> it's pretty complicated. I mean, once you think about it, it's pretty complicated. <laughs> Yeah. Well, did you get to know each other, right? Where do you work? What do you do? The things that you like and you don't like. I'm going to come back in a second. I'm going to visit the next group. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Welcome did, back. Welcome back. Did you share about the most important things about you? Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. We are doing it. Excellent. Okay, my dear team, uh, finish working on that. I am going to come back in a second. Continue okay, working. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. To wake up at this time. It's very early. <laughs> very early, but uh, before Hello. four years, you you are. It's, it's normal. Ah, okay. For me, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to sleep a lot, you have a problem. I wake up 6 p.m. 6 a.m. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that's good. You, you, you wake up at 6 a.m. Where do you work, Juan Carlos? I work in uh, Mobile Plus. It's a service center of Samsung Latin America. Oh, in, in San Salvador. Oh, okay. But I, I didn't that, know about that one. It's very, I live very near that my work. Uh, so you, you live near, you live close yeah. to your work. Hey, how yeah. nice. Yeah. You, you don't fight with traffic or anything. Yes. <laughs> wow, that, that, have... that's nice. <laughs> Okay, yes. yeah, because traffic is really horrible here. Yes, horrible. That's, that's one of the top things that I don't like. But yes. yeah, well, my dear class, finish working and I'm going to go on the last group. Ah. Hello, did you finish sharing about you? Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. So we are going to go back to our class. We're going to go back together. This meeting is being recorded. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, okay. I was visiting the different groups and most of you were sharing about you, your life, the things that you like doing, right? Some of them are still chatting there. They're still working. That's one of the problems with the little rooms that you start talking and talking and you forget about coming back to the class. But it is nice, right? It is nice that you shared. Okay, welcome back, welcome back everybody. Before we move into any other business, I'm going to welcome all of you, thank you. And great, all of you are back, very good. I have my attendance ready, so I'm going to call the attendance at once. And remember, if you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Let me see if I have the correct one. Yes. Ana Raquel Villalta Rivera. Ana Raquel Villalta. A la una, a las dos, a las tres. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Claudia María Meléndez. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Ah, here teacher. Jorge Humberto Vela. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. 
Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Linda Yvette Márquez. Manuel Antonio Palma. Here, teacher. María Concepción. María Concepción. La acabo de ver aquí. Uy, se me perdió. Ok. Eh, María Elena. Present teacher. Thank you. María Ernesto. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present Silvia Zuleima Ok, Silvia is here Tatiana Michelle Present teacher Wendy Maribel Present teacher Very good job Thank you my dear class Well, tell me a little bit about yourself But I am going to tell you To talk a little bit about the person That you were talking to Let's see, in room number one, Diana, who can tell me a little bit about from all the people that you were in the group? You were with Manuel, with Nelson, with Tati. What can you tell me about them? Me teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay, Tati, Tati is going to go first and then Diana. Oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead, Tati. We have to we have to to talk a little bit about the people that you were in the group. Ah, okay. Okay, I understood. <laughs> okay. So uh, Diana Diana talk about she's a, a psychologist in HR, human resource. And she she says she loves the cats. And I say she loves tattoos. Too, because I know that about her. Okay. <laughs> and, and she say the her cats are always at class, so we have to, or we are going to see her cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they, her, your cats love the class. Uh, we know that for sure, right? They, and they love the camera. Thank you very yes, much. Very good, very good, Tati. Good job, good job. Uh, Diana Elizabeth, tell me a little bit more about the other members of the team. Okay. Um, in the case of Manuel, he um, well, he shared with us that he works at Deloitte as an advisor um, to people who need legal advices and that he likes to learn um, about English because he loves the uh the idiom and, and the about language. That, the language sorry <laughs> yes about tati uh, i don't know if about no, it's okay them. about about the ones that you want to share okay tati works at telus as a back office uh she has a son of 11 years old named gabriel and about nelson he likes to be called as gabarrete and he work at a veterinary very good job, Diana. A lot of details. Very good job. Good job. Fantastic. Let me see. Nelson, Manuel. Sorry, Miss. Yo no, no, no escribí nada. Ah, oh, my. No remember. <laughs> you don't remember. But we know that Diana. <laughs> okay. What is the profession of Diana, Mr. Nelson? Oh. Huh? She studies your mind, your brain, your behavior, I and everything. Me teacher, I know. <laughs> Manuel, tell me. <laughs> Saving <laughs> Nelson. Ay, ah, no ay, ay, ay. Psychologist. She's a psychologist, right? She's a psychologist. She loves Very the cats cool. and dogs. And she loves the cats and the dogs. And she, she has uh, 22 years old. She is. She is. I wish. <laughs> She is 20, 20, 29, 29. <laughs> yes. 29. I think she went back in time, I said. 
<laughs> well, she is 29. Remember that when you talk about the ages of people, you don't say she has, right? She is, right? Because you are living, you are living every, every single year. Very good. Very good job. Group number one. Good. From group number two, who wants to share? I have Jorge, Juan Carlos, Olga, Wendy. In my case, uh, Mr. Jorge Humberto is an engineer civil. Civil engineer. Uh -huh, he's a civil engineer. Good. And working in San Miguel. He works in San Miguel. Good. And the from 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 Monday uh, until Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, Live since nine years ago. Okay. He work. has he has been works, working works. for nine years, right? He has been working for nine years. Very good job. Mr. Jorge, Olga, Wendy. Me teacher. I I remember just a little bit about uh, Wendy. Uh-huh. Wendy lives in Santa in Santa Ana. And she works too in, in Santa Ana. Uh, the work is near uh, near her her home, uh -huh. her house. And maybe I remember sixteen blocks from from her home. From her house. Is it true? 16 blocks? 16 cuadras de tu casa? I remember that number, but... Yeah. <laughs> where, do, where do you work, Wendy? I work in travel agents in Genesis Travel. Oh. And I live mm -hmm. in Ibo neighborhood. I, I know, I know Ibo neighborhood. So it's like all the way <laughs> up, right? <laughs> Justo recto se va a decir cuadro. <laughs> and you're good. <laughs> very good job. Thank you very much. I, uh -huh. in, in addition, I remember the her age, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> it's like <clears throat> that we are going to omit <laughs> that detail, right? Nobody, okay. if she shares it, she's very proud of her age then, for sure. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Let me see. And from group number three, I have Mario and Norma. Mario, what do you remember from Norma? Norma have a, well, Norma is a business administration and like cooking and music. Okay, she likes cooking and music, very good. And Norma, what can you tell me about Mario Ernesto? Mario is a business, administration too. He lives in Santa Ana and our group is Suleima too. Uh -huh. She is a lawyer and lives in Santa Ana too. Yeah, so we have the Santa Ana team here, my God. Yay. It, it is not that I am, I am like, I, I was born in Santa Ana, but it's a very beautiful department. Yeah, indeed. Right. No es que yo de ahí sea, pero es bien bonito. <laughs> I love Santa Ana. It's a very beautiful place. Let me see for group number four. I have Claudia and Maria Elena. What can you tell me about each other? Okay, teacher. Maria Elena is a nutritionist. She, she likes motorcycles and she rides a one. And but right now she's not riding a motorcycle because she has a broke. I don't know, or something like that. She broke a leg, or I don't know. Oh, okay. Do you have a do you a have fracture. a broken? Ah, a fracture, I think. okay. Um, what what is it in in your leg, Maria Elena? It's a femur. A oh femur. my god! So you say she broke her leg, right? Just exactly like that. You said like that in English. She broke her leg, like because of the motorcycle. I love the motorcycle. <laughs> Yeah, they are a little bit dangerous. <laughs> and uh -huh. she is 40 years old and uh, she don't like wash 
the clothes and she have two boys <laughs> she doesn't like to wash the clothes that's yeah i think yeah, that's a problem right yeah i think that's the biggest fear that we have the biggest fear is not losing the cell phone or getting out of internet the biggest fear is getting the washing machine broken right que se rompa o que se ruine la lavadora creo que es el temor más grande de todo ser humano <laughs> to wash by hand every single thing the jeans the clothes and everything hmm? yeah so she doesn't like to wash the clothes maria elena what do you remember from claudia well the name is claudia maria melendez she is 32 years old and work at industrial engineer and um, work in the factory uh, she like read cats and have a two kids um, okay boy and girl. okay and uh -huh. she don't like it uh, wash the dishes and fold the clothes okay <laughs> she doesn't like to wash the dishes or to fold uh, the clothes yes it's like yeah tiempo de lavado un día Tiempo de doblado, 15 días hábiles. So it's, it's pretty hard. It's like, I am going to do it later. And then you start like getting all over the clothes there in the bed and you just move it, right? No, yeah, it's terrible to focus. Encuentra más rápido tendida, teacher. Yes, you know, that's what I do. Ese es un tip. Tip, tip de mujer que no le gusta doblar la ropa. Todo lo tiene engancho. Y así lo entro. <laughs> and I put it back in the closet, right? <laughs> so you avoid folding clothes because that's, that's, it takes a lot of time and we don't have time, right? <laughs> yes. So that's a tip, right? Compren un montón de ganchos ahí en el dólar y ya. Solo todo tienen en gancho y de ahí todo lo meten en gancho. And that's it, right? Teacher, que come o que adivina. I do that. I don't have time to, to start folding clothes. I know. We know. <laughs> that it's, that's not something that I really enjoy. Well, my dear class, thank you very much for sharing a little bit about yourselves. I know there are many more things that we're going to get to know about our new classmates and about ourselves because we have been uh, like getting to know each other, right? But there are many other things that we are going to be sharing as well. Well, we started a little bit about the study material and the platform, right? I am... Uh, all of the time, I, am, I, I encourage you to join the WhatsApp group, right? ¿Ya se unieron todos al grupo WhatsApp, chicos? Si no, pues ahí está el link en, en el correo que les envié, eh, que les enviaron también de inglés corporativo. Ahí está el link para el nuevo grupo de WhatsApp, okay? And for sure, eh, we started the platform already. Remember that on the WhatsApp group, I send you different uh, links, material, things that I find. If you find something that is really useful for the class, send it to the group because we always need to continue learning. That it's the most important thing. We went over the attendance for sure. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the topic, right? This section is called, tell me about it. And you are going to discuss a little bit about the different questions that I have right here. Okay, I have six different questions. I am going to ask, I am going to ask Mr. Juan Carlos, can you help me to read the first question? Do you prefer to see a product before getting it or do you like to do buy online? Okay, do you prefer to see a product before getting it or do you like to buy online? That is the first question. The next question, Maria Elena, can you help me? I am prefer the um anything i am like it um, okay supermarket and the, no, okay um, first i, I need like, you uh-huh okay you yeah, prefer yeah. you prefer to see the product right you yeah. prefer to see the product but we are going to read the questions help me to read question number two what is question number two maria elena um, this is what do you think for online shopping? 
What do you think of online shopping? What do you think of online shopping? Number three, Tatiana, help me to read number three. Uh, what was the last thing you bought online? Very good. What was the last thing you bought online? Number four, uh, Nelson. Okay. Number four. Number, number four. Hongo, describe the purchase process. How would you describe the purchase process? And number five, Diana, can you help me? Um, what are some advantages of e-commerce? Very good, e-commerce. Okay, e and the last one, Mr. Manuel, number six. Okay, perdimos a Manuel. <laughs> Claudia Maria, can you help me with number six? What are some disadvantages of e-commerce? Very good. What are some disadvantages of e-commerce? Analyzing the questions, right? You have the six questions there. And I am going to ask you, what is the meaning of e-commerce according to the questions that I have there? What is the Maybe. meaning? Uh -huh. Maybe it's buying online, teacher. Buying online, right? But yeah. e the online stores? The online stores, good. Any other idea? All the ideas are welcome. Online stores, buying online. What else? Because it's not a, a real store, a physical store. They, they have saved them the, the, the rent. Okay, <laughs> as it is not a real store, they save the rent, right? They don't have to pay. They don't have to pay for a for a local shop, right? They don't have to pay for the space, and that's good. And later you can answer there in the questions that I have. So e-commerce is all these different process that you can do online, right? E-commerce is all these process that you can do online. It's the commerce online or the commerce on the internet. We have many different examples nowadays, but we're going to go over the different questions. I am going to go over question number one. Do you prefer to see a product before getting it or do you like to buy online? Raise your hand if you like to see the product. Raise your hand on the camera. I like to see the product, teacher. I prefer to see the product, right? Okay, tell me, raise your hand as well, if you like to buy the things online. Who likes to buy things online? Okay, any bad experience getting the things online? <laughs> Mario, Mario has a bad experience getting the things online. Okay, how was it, Mario? What was the experience? Um, well, I was, when? Uh, a few years ago, like so, seven, eight, eight, eight years ago, I bought a, a, a computer uh -huh. and buy all the parts in, from eBay. Uh -huh. And the processor don't come. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Little detail, right? Yeah, the processor don't come. So I lost literally lost uh, 250 bucks and the, the seller didn't, didn't respond. Oh, and you pay for it? Yeah. So oh my God. I lost that. You but lost the money. Yeah, but in general, it's a, a easy way to buy something. You avoid the, the I don't know, villa? <laughs> the lines? Oh. The line, the lines, you, you avoid the lines. So <laughs> you avoid I, the lines. You avoid everything. You avoid people, traffic. You save yeah. time. Everything. You save time, right? But it happens. For example, in my case, I saw a beautiful pair of shoes online and I said, oh, I fell in love with them. And I asked for them. And I asked for my number on the shoes. And when I got them, they were very small. And I was like, what happened here? <laughs> and I paid for them, but it was like like for the little kid's size. And it was very small. And it was like in the middle of my foot. And I was like, yeah. And I, I lost the money because I paid for them. And they didn't work, right? 
So that is one of the experiences of getting the things online. Let's see. Here, tell me, what do you think of online shopping? I need, uh, I need opinions. What do you think of online shopping? Raise your hand and participate. It's okay. Jorge, go ahead. Uh, I consider, I like to, to buy online. I, I prefer to, to buy uh, something that maybe, uh, maybe here in, in the country is, is difficult to find. Okay. Uh, you, you can find in the internet, eBay, for example, and buy it. Okay, so it's easier, right? It's easier to find different products. Any other opinion? What do you think of online shopping? Yes, Tati? I think it's a good idea when you don't have enough time in, well, in your job uh, because they, they always have delivery. So I think it's a good idea when, when you don't have enough time. Very good job, delivery. That's a very good word, right? Because you save time, right? Imagine now, if you want to get to eat donuts, for example, in this beautiful month, tick, 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 in a nap, and then you get them. You don't go there to make the line or anything, right? If you need to eat something and you don't want to go to the restaurant, tick, 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 and you just get it, right? Online, by WhatsApp, by internet, by any chance, right? You just get it. And shopping online is very, very easy. And I need you to think, what was the last thing that you bought online? Think about it. What was the last thing that you bought online? Uh-huh, Jorge? I bought a uh, poll for Trekking or trail running. Okay. So that was the last object that you bought online. Who else? Yes. Mario, what was the last thing that you bought online? Um, three days ago. <laughs> uh -huh. Compulsive <Again>. shopper. <laughs> a game. Good, a game. Okay. Maria Elena, what was the last thing that you bought online? Mm, I don't remember, but maybe um, AirPods. Okay, AirPods, AirPods, good. Yeah. Good, Diana, what was the last thing that you bought online? Uh, cases from, from my cell phone. Cases for the phone, very good. Tatiana? I bought a gamer kit for my son. Okay, gamer kits, very good. Uh, Olga Marlene, what was the last thing that you bought online? Uh, I, I chop a dress. Which one? Uh, a dress. A dress. I bought. You say I bought a dress. A dress. Nice. I, I, bought, I bought a dress in a one month ago. Okay, you bought a dress one month ago. Very good job. Juan de Dios, what was the last thing that you shop online? Um, a ticket for travel for my mom. A ticket, and, uh huh. Yes. Um, a piece of my car. Okay, a ticket, a plane ticket, and a piece of your car. <laughs> okay. Yes, good. I am still pending to receive. Okay. Okay, in, two spare, months, in two months. In two months, right? You say you bought spare parts. What are the spare parts that are the ones that you use for uh, replacing, right? Spare parts are repuestos. Wendy Maribel, okay. what was the last thing that you bought online? Mm, I remember a clo uh, clothes. Clothes. A dress, a dress or a blouse. Okay, a dress or a blouse. Clothing. Okay, good. Well, Nelson, what was the last thing that you bought online? Hello. What was the last thing that you bought online? 
Oh. Dime un lies. What? What? And what the and what do you do online? No, no, no. What me, was what was the last thing that you bought online? ¿Qué fue lo último que compró en línea? Ah, oh, sorry. Eh, the eh, por decir este comida rápida. Ah, fast food. Eh, it, it <laughs> yeah. Fast food. Fast food. Fast okay. food. Eh, and eh, the cell phone the re, 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 re car. ah okay balance balance for the phone you say balance for the phone it is like the recarga that you do right yes so that it's balance is a <laughs> saldo right balance for the phone good oh, very good better. balance okay. that's the name I, I, you have balance. it there on the chat Claudia Maria, what was the last thing that you bought online? Products for my skincare. <laughs> okay, skincare products, right? Very good. Juan Carlos? A pair of shoes, teacher. A pair of shoes, cool. <laughs> but you, it was the right size. <laughs> 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 Not like me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good question. Teacher. Yeah, it was the right size. It's good. Sylvia, what was the last thing that you bought online? Silvita? Se me ha quedado congelada. Manuel? Yes, teacher. In my case, uh, 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 for my personal use, I, I don't. I don't buy online because <laughs> uh, I I had the the bad experience for the other. For yeah, other. I remember. <laughs> but my 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 son, yes, she uh, he likes to to buy online all the time and the cell phone. And, and the uh, AirPods. And ear, ear phones, ear phones, ear or phones. AirPods, right? Uh, earphones, okay. Okay. And in other, in other products. Okay, but good. In my case, I don't like. <laughs> you don't like it, right? You don't like I it, like right? It. Or the AirPods, if it is for the iPhone. Good. And okay. let me see, Silvita, you're back. What was the last thing that you bought online? I um I bought a fresh respirator, but I before seen I but I seen before to pay. <laughs> ah, okay, but but I have seen it before in the say. store. I, oh, that's good. Uh -huh. That's good. That's important. Okay, if not a little refrigerator like this. <laughs> <laughs> Norma Carolina, what was the last thing that you bought online? A bag, uh, three months ago. A bag. Hey, that's pretty nice. So, all the process. Was the process easy or difficult? Was the process easy or difficult at the moment of getting your product? It's easy. 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 Click, 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 and that's it. Uh huh. Yeah, easy. No problem with the process, right? Depends on the product, teacher. It depends on the product, right? Depending on the product and depending where the product is. But for example, imagine that we are going to buy food online. What is the process that we need to follow? What would be the first step? ¿Cuál sería nuestro primer paso? Decide what para want. <laughs> That's the most difficult one. Decide what you want to eat. Don't ask the lady, okay? Si la chica tiene hambre, no le pregunte qué quiere comer. Please. Si el hombre tiene hambre, no le pregunte qué quiere comer. Llévele la comida de un sol. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Anything. Whatever you want. Where should we go? Anywhere. Where is anywhere? I, I promise that I will have a restaurant called Anywhere. And whatever you want. Yeah. 
¿Dónde It's vamos? Really Allá, really? anywhere. Vamos a anywhere. <laughs> you will go to my restaurant, right? Don't ask. Yeah, don't ask. Yeah, if, if a lady is hungry, she will be angry. So don't ask her. Just give her food. Alimentela nada más. <laughs> That's it. And after that, you can talk with her. <laughs> yes. And after, after giving the food, right. Decide what you want to eat. Imagine that we want to eat uh, pizza. Okay, we want to eat pizza. What is the next step? Decide from where? <laughs> Decide which type of pizza, right? What trade we're going to get? What place we're going to go? But imagine that we decided to go to Happy Pizza, El Salvador, because I cannot give any commercial, right? Ha Happy Pizza, right? Uh -huh. What is the next step? Go to the No, page. we are going to do on ah, to go to the page of huh? because you are <laughs> shopping online. Okay, you open the page of Happy Pizza, huh? Yes. Then Show you, you have the order. The menu. Order and pay the, the order. That's good. Juan Carlos said something good. Check the menu. Right? You check the menu first. Then you decide on the product. Then you put the order. And then? Ask for the time, teacher. <laughs> you ask for the time, right? Maybe Happy Pizza is going to be full. 30 so... minutes so is free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to check if it's free after 30 minutes. And then you have to decide how to pay. If pay. it's going to be cash or card. Okay. So, how are you going to pay? ¿Cómo vamos a pagar? Cash. Cash. Take my money. Okay. You are going to, to pay cash. And then, what is the last step? To wait. Uh -huh. But while you wait, I, what do you do while you wait? Tracking the order. Very good job. You track your order, right? And you are like, let me see. Mm -hmm. It's on the restaurant. You see, it's here, it's here. And you are checking on the person, where the person is moving, right? It is the same when you buy something online, right? Imagine that you buy something in, in Asia, for example. And you just, you just bought it and you are like, quiero ver donde viene. And maybe it was the same day. And it's like, it is still in Asia, right? The same thing happens with all the different type of online shopping that you do, right? The process is pretty simple, right? What are some advantages of e-commerce? I need you to do on your notebook, right? On your notebook, I need you to do the following. And I am going to share it here for everybody. We are going to work together, right? We're going to work together. And here on my board, we are going to do this. Right here, we are going to have advantages. Advantages. And here we're going to have these advantages, right? Here we're going to have these advantages. If you have access to the board, I need you to use the text and to include here. If you don't have access to the board, I need you to send them on the chat, right? If you don't have access to the chat, I need you to send it on WhatsApp, right? But the idea is that you share something written, okay? So I need you to write some advantages and disadvantages of shopping online. Go ahead. You can share here on the board, on the chat, or on WhatsApp. Okay, advantages yeah. and disadvantages. <laughs> Jorito made a line, very good. <laughs> Sorry, you can use the text. I just broke the application. Oh, that's why. Or you can use the chat if you want. You can use the chat. There you have, I have some messages on the chat. Very good. 
from Diana. I have a disadvantage. The time you have to wait. Yes. That's a disadvantage. You can use the chat. When you use AliExpress, you have to wait three months. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so, so sad. I, well, I told you before that I have ordered a, a dinosaur for the soup and I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. have bad luck on that picture. I have bad luck on, on online shopping. Okay, advantages or disadvantages. If you can send it here, if not on the chat, if not to WhatsApp. Tatiana says you can buy almost any kind of product by online. That is that is an advantage. Very good. Disadvantage, you you don't you don't see the product and it could be different, you say. Remember, different is with double F. Very good. That's a disadvantage, right? In some cases, you don't see the product. Facebook market, for example. <laughs> Advantages, it's fast and it is easy, you say. It is easy. <laughs> Save money, you say, for AliExpress. Yes, there are many things that are cheap. In some cases, the product is cheap, but the, the shipping is not cheap because you have to pay a lot for bringing the product here. The risk that the product is not like you expect. Very good. Send me more. I have a disadvantage here. Thinking about, thinking about there is a problem with the pay. Okay, very good. Here, remember, I will change it here. Okay. Thinking about there is a problem with the payment or the pay way. Okay, disadvantage, you do not see the product, yes. It can be fake. <laughs> it can be fake, it can be fake sale and it's a disadvantage. A lot of pages to compare and choose the best option, to choose the best option. Okay, and for sure, right? The most important thing, it can be fake, it can be fake. Good. Thank you for sharing some of the advantages and disadvantages of this. I will share one little experience that I had with uh, some friends. A friend of mine got into this process of the new businesses online, right? And they said that he could go, hey, you save time and you save gasoline and you save the car, says Juan de Dios. Very good job. So he got into this business of perfumes. And they said, okay, make a deposit of $200 and blah, blah, blah. And you're going to receive all these different perfumes that are uh, original. And there was my friend, eh, open mouth, right? And he gave the $200 to the person. And they said, mañana lo vamos a reunir y que no sé qué. Y en tal parte les entregamos el producto. And my friend was there, right? Very obedient waiting for the person to give him the product. And hello, hello, there was no product, there was no person, there was no place, there was no nothing. So it was fake. And they were taking all the money from all these people who were like with the business of the year and the products just disappear with the person. And he never answered back, he never answered what's up, he, did, he disappeared the number. So it was just fake. So we need to be very careful with this. The product is different when you receive it, you say. Yes, that's a big, big disadvantage, right? That the product can be something that it's not expected, right? So those are some advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce. Right now, we're going to go to the manual on page number nine. Okay, if you have your manual at hand, you can open it on page number nine, or if not, we're going to share it with everybody here, okay? Let me open mine so I can share it with all of you. Okay, we're going to go to page number nine. We're going to practice a little conversation. Here, and let me share it right here. Okay, here we go, page number nine. Can you check on my screen? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It says, Lucas and Saul 
We are going to look for three most important questions, okay? Here you have the three questions. What is the first one? Can you help me to read it? Why does Lucas want to start an e-commerce website? Why does Lucas want to start an e-commerce website? Number two? What are what? two advantages of e-commerce? What are two advantages of e-commerce? And number three? What are two disadvantages of e-commerce? What are two disadvantages of e-commerce? We're going to answer these three questions on the conversation. Let's go. And here it says, Lucas and Saul, listen to me and then you can practice with me. Lucas says, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24 seven through an automated platform, and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you might want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes consumers disappointed. New words or new vocabulary? Palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo? Okay, good. Handicraft. Okay. Handicraft. Handicraft. That's the first one. Drawbacks. Uh, wayside. Okay, here. Which one? Uh, wayside. Where is it, Nelson? Wayside. Oh, okay, sorry. I no, no, no. Automatic, automatic platform. Okay, automatic platform. Here it is. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Automatic platform. ¿Cuál era la que me decía Nelson? Sorry, ya la perdí. <laughs> you play. You play. Website. 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 This website. one. Esta? Yes. 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 W website. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. The farmer's market. And what else? And okay, handicrafts, these are handicrafts, right? Because I make them by hand, right? Yo lo hago a mano, right? These are handicrafts, ah. okay? These are handicrafts, Ay, no es comercial, <laughs> but they do it. Handicrafts are, uh, yeah, all tipo manualidades, right? All the different okay. handicrafts. Like this ones, for example, that people do it by hand, right? That people just create. So those are handicrafts, right? Handicrafts. Handicraft. Yeah, los cascos para gatos, right? That I do. <laughs> oh. The handicrafts. All these things that are made by hand, oh. right? The handicrafts. Exactly. Be Manualidades or you also can call it like artesanías, right? That you do it by hand. Right, and that they sell very well in the farmer's market. What is the farmer's market? Are like these little things that people open in the little towns, right? Son como las 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 ferias, las ferias que hay en los pueblitos que usted va y hay de todo. And you can see everything. You can see candies. You can see flowers. You can see things for your hair. You can see things for your pet. You can see food. You can see everything in these farmers right. markets, right? You can see candies there, like local traditional candies, right? Son como esos mercaditos, los mercaditos donde hay de todo. The farmer's markets. The website, the website it's for sure and a space online where you can get the things, un sitio web, right? An automated platform. An automated platform, it's like a, the place where you can go, you see the menu, you see everything. And the process is through a machine, not with a human but with a machine, right? Everything is automatic, right? 
que si te das clic aquí, te manda para allá, si le das clic aquí, te manda para allá, si le das clic aquí, te manda para el pago. So everything is automatic. En a platform, for sure, it's on the website, right? Una plataforma virtual. The drawbacks. If this one, it's advantages, what do you think drawbacks mean? What will be the contrary of advantages? Slight feedback. And not really. Drawbacks. It's disadvantage, right? It's disadvantage, right? The negative feature of a buying online, right? It's like, like what you use, like contras. That would be a drawback, right? Los pros y los contras. The drawbacks will be contra. No contra el que jugaban de chiquito. No, contras, contras. So, there are, are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing, right? When you say with this thing of e-commerce, it's like with all this situation, right? And when you say, ah, I see, it's a way for you to affirm that you are understanding what the person is saying, right? It's like, you know, I have a lot of difficulties in my life. Oh, I see, right? No es que ya veo, de ya veo, te estoy viendo, right? It's like, oh, sí, te comprendo, lo entiendo, right? That's the meaning of I see. Handle. Handle is manejar, right? To let a company handle the shipping and storage of your products, right? Now, any other question, my dear class? No? Let's practice pronunciation. Is there a pronunciation that you don't know on this conversation? ¿Hay alguna pronunciación que se les dificulte? No. No? All of them is clear like, like horchata? Like cebada. <laughs> like cebada. <laughs> like yes. parao. Okay. So practice then. We're going to practice then, it says. Okay, remember that we read up to the period or to the commas, okay? Leemos hasta los signos de puntuación porque es donde se detiene nuestra lectura, okay? I'm going to erase everything. And we're going to read the first period right here. The next stop is this comma. And the last one, it's right here. So it says... My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicrafts. Everybody. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website. An e-commerce website for our handicrafts. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, 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 ok. Vamos a ponernos a todos en contexto de nuevo. Aquí no ha pasado nada. Ok, one, two, three, class. Remember, after me. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicrafts. My friend, my and, friend I and I would like, like to start, start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market. They sell they well, sell well, well at, the at the farmer's market. But we well want to sell to people who market. don't visit us here on the countryside. But, but we, we want, want to, want to sell to the people who don't visit us here on the countryside. Here. Here on the countryside. Here. Here. Here is ella, right? Here. 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 I see. I see. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, for instance, customers can buy your products 24/7 through an automated platform. Okay, you say automatic. 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 Automatic platform. 
platform. Platform. Platform. Platform. Platform. platform. And they are also able to compare products and prices. And they, and they are also able to compare products and prices. Compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. That's exactly, exactly, exactly what we need. But are there any but, drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? But, but are there, are any, there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Thing. No, say things. It's thing. Thing. Well. Thing. Well, 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 you may want well, to well. let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. You may want, you you may want, want to let a different, different company handle the shipping, shipping and the storage of, your, of products. your products. Your product. then, 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 there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions. There is the risk of arriving in bad condition or not arriving. Or not arriving at all. Or not arriving at all. Which makes consumers disappointed. Which makes consumers disappointed. Which makes consumers disappointed. Very good job. Which makes consumers disappointed. Which makes consumers disappointed. Very good job. Now, I need you please to a screenshot the conversation. A screenshot the conversation because you're going to use it. Screenshot the conversation. I post because I always look horrible in the screenshots. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Si sí, siempre salgo con los ojos cerrados o hablando. Screenshot. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good, very good. I'm going to set the little couples and you are going to work with your couple. Vamos a, a practicarlo con eh, su pareja. Let me just make the little groups here. I am going to make the groups. Okay, and here you go. Okay, we're going to go with your couple and you're going to practice the conversation. Go ahead. You are going to be in little couples. There you go, there you go. Hi, good evening, Alta. Hello. <laughs> Silvita, did you get the invitation? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, se la voy a volver a mandar. Okay, thanks. Let me see. La voy a, le voy a poner ahorita en otro grupo, pero no la acepte y de ahí la vuelvo a poner al grupo que es, ¿ok? Okay. There you go, hoy sí. Gracias. So I am going to give a couple of minutes for students to practice with their couple, right? All of them are working in couples and for sure they are going to come back and present the conversation for the class. Okay, my dear class, practice the conversation. Decide who are you going to be in the conversation.
we're going to go and check how they are doing. Teacher. Hi. Again, or we'll finish. We'll, 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 Did you practice? <laughs> Do you have the conversation? No problems with pronunciation? Ya no se traban, la leen corrido. Perfect. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Yo sí me trago ese. Let's see. Practice, practice, and I'm going to see if I can help. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, my friend, I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell the people who don't visit us. Uh, on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy the product 24-7 through an automatic platform. And they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is a uh, risk of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which make consumers disappointed. Okay, important. When you read a conversation, you have to leave the conversation. Like if you are talking with your friend, because if we say, for example, here, and we have it right here, and I say, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market. It is like if you are just reading it, right? When you are sharing a conversation, you say, you know, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell the we we want to sell to people who don't visit us on the countryside. And the other person says, I see. There are advantages to an e-commerce website. Like if you are actually sharing the conversation with your partner, okay? Practice again, and I'm going to come back, okay? Don't do it automatic, right? It can be like more human, right? Like if you are sharing, metanse en el papel, metanse en el papel ahí del, del, del que está compartiendo, que usted es Lucas, que usted es Saúl, que usted le está dando la opinión al compañero. So get into the character. Practice and I will come back in a moment, okay? I will come back in a second. Practice. Matizado. Teacher. Hi. We have a question. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, yeah. uh, Big or huge question. <laughs> a big question. What is your question? Uh -huh. uh, how do you spell automated or automatic? Okay. Okay. Uh, automated platform, it's automatic. automatizada, no es automática. Automatic. Okay. Automatic is automatic, right? Uh -huh. And here you have it. And I'm going to send it to you maybe here on the chat. I don't know if you can see it but I'm going to sell it. Automatic is automático, but mm -hmm. automated, 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 with Mated, okay. automated. How, do you spell, how do you pronounce my dear class? Automated, right? I and the other one is automat yeah. automatic. automatic. I hear automatic. Okay, automated, automated platform, right? Automatic, automated is automated. automatizado, right? And okay. automatic is automatica, okay? Oh. The other one is tick and ed, right? That's the difference in pronunciation, right? Automated and automatic. Oh, <laughs> Right. So those are the different. Okay, practice the conversation. I want to listen to see if you are leaving the conversation or just reading. Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay, my friend and I, I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicrafts. They sell wet at the farmer's market, but we can to sell to people who want visit us here on the countryside. Okay, who don't visit us. Okay, let, let's read carefully. Let's read carefully. Yo siempre les digo a estos chicos, ni me coman ni me pongan más palabras. 
Read carefully. Remember. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So remember, when you are sharing a conversation, you have to leave the, the character. You say, ah, Diana, you know, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here in the countryside. And then Diana says, hmm, I see. Right, and you leave the conversation, right? Because that's the importance of English. That's the difference from Spanish. Va a haber en tres cuatro días, teacher, cuando ya nos estamos. Ay, ay, ay. Practice, practice, please. Practice like that, right? Practice with the intonation. Ya un mes sin practicar, teacher, ya estoy fregado. Yeah, but you are in the correct place, right? You are in the right place. We we talk a lot. That's something okay. that you have to be sure about it. Aquí okay. si algo va a ser es hablar. So, <laughs> practice, please. Practice with Diana. I'm going to come back in a moment to check how you're doing. Go ahead. Okay. If you want and uh, risk, risk of shipping. Risk of shipping. Ah, risk. Risk of shipping. And the other is uh, arriving, mm -hmm. arriving in bad condition, the typical arriving in bad conditions. Okay, you say then there is a risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes consumers disappointed <laughs> at all. Yeah. At all or not arriving at all, right? At all. I don't hear you. Nos sentimos como en un trabalengua. I don't know how to say in English. Yeah, a tongue twister. Tongue, tongue twister. twister, it's like trabalenguas, right? So tongue remember, twister. remember, when you practice the conversation, you have to leave the character, right? Se tienen que meter al personaje. El primero está afligido y le dice, hey, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24 seven through an automated platform and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, uh, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which make consumers disappointed, right? You have to get into the character. Practice the conversation, okay? Practice, my dear students. And I'm going to come back in a sec. Si necesitan ayuda, me avisan, okay? Go ahead. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So practice, 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 okay? Practice makes perfection. Well. Ajá. Hello. Ajá, veamos ahora. Okay. Action. Uh. <laughs> my Go friend, ahead. I would I would like to start an e-commerce website for our, our candy craft. They say well at the farmer market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us. We're on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy their products 24-7 through an automatic platform. And they are so able to compare the product and prices. That is exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks for this e-commerce thing? Mm, well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and store of your products. Then, this area of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which may consumer disappointment. Very good job. You see the difference. You see the difference <laughs> of reading and sharing, right? When you say, there is the risk, there is the risk, right? Then there is the risk. And there are many advantages to an e-commerce website, right? Remember the S at the end of the uh, words is very important. 
right? Let's go back to the main session because we are going to share together over there. Let's go back, my dear. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> I have you back here. Good, Maria Elena, Olga, very nice. Okay, all of them are coming back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, great. It's great to have you back. Okay, my dear students, before we go to the uh, conversation, I am going to call the attendance for the second time, okay? And then we can stay and practice for the conversation, okay? Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. Ana Raquel Villalta. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Juan de Dios. Present, teacher. Linda Ivette. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. María Concepción. María Elena. Present. Mario Ernesto. Present. Nelson Gabarrete. Present. Norma Carolina. Present. Olga Marlene. Present. Silvia Suleima. Tatiana Michelle, thank you. And Wendy Maria. Thank you very much. Okay, today thank I am you, going teacher. to, thank you very much, Wendy. Today I am going to stay for a couple of minutes with Claudia Maria. Okay, at the end of the class, I am going to start with a couple of minutes with you. Okay, Claudita, you will be the first one in the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, we're going to practice the conversation. Important thing, important. When you are practicing the conversation, I need you to get into the character. That is the most important part of English, right? That is the most important part of the language. When you get into the different characters, and when you get into the real conversation, right? It is not just like, uh, yeah, 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 this and that, right? No, it is getting into the conversation and actually getting into the character of the conversation, right? Because that is something that is like the most important part of this, okay? So we are going to start with the first uh, couple, right? I am going to start with the first couple but before we go to the conversation, I am going to go here. Let me share my screen. Okay. Here, we're going to have an energy booster. I need you to stand up, please. Stand up, stand up from your chair. Stand up from your chair. I need you to stand up from your chair. And I need you to stretch up a little bit. Stretch up a little bit. Stretch up a little bit. Uh, 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 stretch up a little bit from your chair. Very good job. Stretch up a little bit. And I need you to touch the sky. Touch the sky with your hands, right? I can't do it. I have my cell phone. Okay, very good job. Very good job. Okay, stretch up, stretch up a little bit. Okay, sit down. That would be our energy booster of the night. Very good job. Now we can do the conversations. Uh, that's for you not to fall asleep, right? De repente le voy a tirar ahí el energy booster para que usted se despierte, se mueva y se levante. The first, the first couple on the conversation will be uh, the last one, okay? Chan, chan, chan. Silvia and Wendy, go ahead. Let me share the conversation so you can actually see it, okay? okay. 
Let me see. Okay. Here it is. I will share the conversation so you can read it. Okay, and here I go. Let me see, let me see. Here. Okay, there you can see the conversation. Action. Oh, there you go. Okay, my friends and I would like to start an e commerce website for our handicraft. They sell wear at the farmer markets, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on. On the Maybe countryside, there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For in instance, customers can buy your products 24-7 throw and automatic play platform. 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 And they platform. Platform, platform, so able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then. There is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, with which may customers disappointed. Very good job. Okay, a clap for everybody. Very good job. Very good job. That's right. When you say like not arriving at all, right? Not arriving at all at all it's one complete word okay not reactions for your all. friends Hello. not arriving at all reactions for your friends very good job and we go with group number one that is let me see diana and juan carlos Um, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I lost my partner. <laughs> <laughs> Juan Carlos. Disappeared. He disappeared. Come on. <laughs> I, I can help he's here he's you here have, the, micro, some, the microphone is off. the microphone the microphone the microphone is off the microphone the microphone is off okay <clears throat> Dianita con todo lo poder estando ahí excuse me Okay, thank you. I see, Juan Carlos, go ahead. I see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 27 through an automated platform, and they are also able to compare products from That's price. exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this? E-commerce thing? Well, you, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of, of shipping right in bad condition or arriving at all, which may consumers disappoint. Very good job. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great okay. job, my dear. Yeah, very good. Very good. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Advantages. Remember the S at the end, right? Advantages. Yeah. Through, okay? You can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platform. Automated platform. 
Very good job, very good job. And at all, right? Not arriving at all. Very good job, my dear class. Excellent reactions for your friend, people. Reactions for your friends, very nice. Good job, very good job. A little hard for you, very good job. And here we go with the next group, group number six, Mario Ernesto and Norma Carolina. Go ahead. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicap. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us, who are on the countryside. I see. There is many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy the products 24 7 thrown on our market platform. And they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks back to this e-commerce thing? Mm, well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and store of your products. Then there is a risk of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which makes consumers disappointed. Okay, which makes consumers disappointed. Very good job on this conversation, right? Okay, which makes consumers disappointed. Very good job, Norma. Nice fluency. You are getting very good fluency. Excellent. Now, we are going to go with group number five. We go with Jorge Humberto and Tatiana. Okay. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your product 24-7 through an automated platform, and they are all I and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But we are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce team? Well. You may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which make consumers disappointed. Very good job to which make consumers disappointed. Very good job. Reactions for your friends, my class. Very nice. Excellent conversation. Very good job. Let's go with Claudia Maria and Juan de Dios. Okay. Okay. My, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for handicraft. I'm sorry. You, you are so, you are Lucas. <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay. My friend, my my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our candy, handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the country side. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website for seven through an automatic platform and they are also able to compare products and prices that's exactly what we need but are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing well you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products then there is a risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all which may consumer disappointed very good. Excellent, my dear class. Excellent job. Very good job. Reactions for your friends. Very good job. Claps, claps, claps. Excellent. Now, let's go with Maria Elena and Olga Marlene. Go ahead. Okay. 
My friend and I would like to start a commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer market, but we want to sell the people who don't visit use her on the countryside. I see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For an instance, customers can buy your products 24 seven through an automated platform. And they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need, but are there any drawbacks to these e-commerce things? Mm, well, you may want to uh, let different company handle to the shipping and storage for your products. Then there is the risk of the shipping arriving in a bad condition or not arriving at all, which, we, which make consumer disappoint. Very good job, right? Uh, to let a different a different company handle the shipping, right? Handle the shipping and storage. Very good job. And last but not least, we go with Manuel and Nelson. Okay. My friend, I would like to start an e-commerce website. For all the hand they have, they sell well at the farmer market, but they want to sell to people who don't know visit how here in the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your product 24-7 through an online platform. And they are also able to compare products and prices. That is exactly what, what we need, but I already here hanging brown box on this e commerce deal. Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your product. Then, there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes consumer disappointing. Very good job. Good. Nelson, good job, right? Good effort on reading, good effort on practicing. Yes. Very good job. Very good job, right? You say e-commerce, right? Remember, e-commerce through, through an automated platform, right? Are there any drawbacks? Throwbacks to this e-commerce thing, right? Very good job. Well, my dear students, it was a fantastic thing that we got together today to practice, right? The time is over right now, but I am going to be more than glad to see you tomorrow to continue practicing. Welcome to your classes again. Welcome to this starting uh, routine again. And I will be more than pleased to see you tomorrow in the next class, okay? I am going to stay for a couple of minutes with Claudia Maria. For the rest of you, what a pleasure to see you again, okay? See you. Bye, Bye, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye. 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 Sweet dreams. Bye. It was a pleasure to meet you and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Mr. Juan de Dios, take care. <laughs> Peleando el, el carácter, quién era quién ahí. <laughs> Hello, Claudita, how are you? Hello, teacher. How it's was nice you? to see you again. It's very nice to see you. I was very happy to see you again, to see the group, even for a couple of days. But it is yeah. very, I am very happy to be here with you, right? Lo voy a ver aunque sea una semana, porque... La otra semana eh, me voy a, a cambiar. No, me voy a la beca. Ay. Ah, sí, entonces este. Ah. Entonces la van a, la van a. Sí, tengo, ya tengo alguien que, que, que va a tomar el, el, el grupo, Ay, el reemplazo. No. Pero los voy a dejar encaminados y encargados ahí al 100. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah yes, that's the only thing because. Thank you very much. How was the, the, these weeks without English? Tell me, what were you doing to practice? Um, I was 
watching series in English <laughs> with subtitles in English. Okay, so, uh -huh. it's very hard. It's very hard. I try to to understand the couple of words that I don't understand. I was <laughs> watching the Big Bang Theory. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> so in that one, that understand. one has a lot of new vocabulary. That is yeah. something that that uh, that series has. That it has a lot of new phrases, new vocabulary, and they use a lot of idioms at the moment of speaking. So when you get to actually see it, it's like, ah, what did they say? What did they say? Yes. Tiene muchos, tiene muchas frases, eh, tiene muchas frases eh, diferentes, muchos idioms, pero es muy bueno porque adquiere un montón de the vocabulary no so okay. you were you were watching series what else were you doing in the meantime mm -hmm. i was i was uh, listening to podcast in english also hey that's yes. pretty awesome right what type of podcasts do you prefer um uh, how do you say um, um the motivation <laughs> Motivational, motivational, right? The motivational, motivation. motivational podcasts. Yes. Right. Do you like TED Talks? Uh, no. No, I you don't have the app. I know those are videos that you can find also on YouTube, right? TED Talks, they discuss about different things. They discuss about motivation, life, inspiration, effort it is exactly like a podcast but they only last like seven to nine minutes and it is pretty good because mm -hmm. you can develop all these like a strategy listenings and, and stuff through the the different speaking uh, sections that they have so i am going to share one with you for you to see what a ted talk is and maybe okay. you can combine it with the podcast and you can actually enjoy it okay yeah have you ever listened to one of them no no teacher I don't. okay okay so it's going to be a good opportunity right the tech talks and they they discuss about different topics that's something that i really like because they have a lot of topics about the importance of english the importance of studying the importance of uh, having a, a good job and, and stuff so they are very they are very nice and they are things that you can listen on the car or that you can listen when you are working right so it is it is really nice so i hope you like them okay. and uh, let's see have you been practicing your writing or your grammar um sincerely i don't teach <laughs> i'm sorry i don't okay <laughs> and what are what are some of your expectations for this new module um learn more vocabulary and express myself like fluency okay i think i have improved but i want to improve more, more yeah that's why today i wanted to make everybody speak because i know that yeah. you were just there resting on the sleeping <laughs> on the speaking yeah. and the sleep sleeping on that is like taking advantage of the good time to go to bed early but i i wanted to test on that and I can see that there are like many things that we need to polish a little bit more, right? Tenemos que pulir otra vez un poquito yeah. el uso de las terceras personas, los pasados, que I los hemos dejado that. un poquito ahí dormidos, right? But it is nice, right? I am going to work a lot on, on during these days that I have for you to practice, right? For you to go back in track. So it's going to be easier for you uh, to actually start practicing again normally right because that's a problem when you stop practicing i mean when you have like a lot of time speaking 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 and then you stop right when you stop you say like ah mejor mañana mejor me acuesto mañana practico <laughs> and then you sleep on that and and then it is difficult for you to practice again well so uh, i am going to share the tech talks with you claudia maria for you to okay. use them and maybe you like them I'll and you waiting. make them and you make them part of your of your practice every single day okay so tomorrow okay. i am going sure. to come and bring some extra practice for everybody so we can get back in track
Okay. Thank you, Claudita. Have a beautiful night. Thank you for staying so in these nice. minutes with me. And I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Have a beautiful night, Claudia. Thank you. Well, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Okay, that's all for today.